Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Faith. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am going to be testing out the Jaclyn Morphe Vault Collection. I'm going to be doing four eye looks, one with each palette, so that you guys can kind of see how each palette performs. I will say I do already have some concerns. Shadows can swatch completely differently than how they would actually apply on the eyes. So I wanted to give this collection a fair chance. So that's basically what we're doing today. We're going to actually play around on the eyes, do four eye looks. So yeah, without rambling on and on, let's hop right on in. Okay, I'm going to be doing a look on this eye and then a second look on this eye with a second palette and then wipe that off and start over. The first palette I'm going to do, which I will be doing on this eye, is the Dark Magic palette. And this is like the green blue palette, I guess you could describe it as. In swatching, there were definitely some problems that I had with this, but let's see how it works on the eyes. I think the logical first step would be to put this shade all over the lid. And this is the shade Poof. And I'm just going to use a Real Techniques brush to do this. You know what, I am going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so taking Poof, and I do already have concealer and translucent powder over my eyes, so you're probably not going to see this, but I do, remember from the swatches that I liked how this shade swatched. It reminded me a lot of the original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I am going to switch to a little bit more of a definer brush and go in the crease with this shade here, which is called Shh. I do like that these palettes have mirrors in them. Um, the original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette does not. So I really like that, and these are the like glossy cardboard, unlike the first release of the original Jaclyn Hill palette, which I have, and it's just like regular cardboard. It's so dirty. That's a really perfect transition sort of shade. It's a nice cool toned brown. I actually think that would be a super nice contour shade, like maybe a nose contour or something like that. I'm gonna just wing this out just a little, make sure that's carrying outward. And again, this is a first impressions for me on the eyes. I have already swatched, I have already done all that. I feel like I keep repeating myself, but I just wanna make you all aware that I have touched all these, but I have not tried them on the eyes. So this really is a first impressions for me. Okay, next I'm going to take this shade here potion. There's definitely some fallout. I don't know if that's showing, but I'm just using the same brush. To deepen that up a little bit more, I'm going to use Inside Job, which is a very deep kind of emerald blue green shade. And I'm still using the same brush, but I'm just going to be a little bit more precise and lower with where I place this. Also, I'm not noticing any fallout on my face, so that's good. So I'm also going to take Inside Job a little bit more on this brush on the flat side and just take it on the outer edge to deepen that up. Now I am getting fallout from that, which I'm kind of not surprised by because it is a deeper shade. I'm just going to put a little bit of translucent powder under there so that I can swipe that away more easily. And then I'm going to go back into Potion, that more army green, and just blend those edges. You do have to be very careful with how much pigment you pick up on these. They actually do remind me of Anastasia shadows because they're so pigmented, which is great, but if you go in too hard, like a lot of times as a beginner, which I still, like, I'm not a makeup artist by any means. I've never been 
professionally trained, though I have been doing makeup a long time, so I can kind of work my way through things. But if you are a beginner, this might be a little difficult to use just because these dark shades can get a little out of control. I'm gonna take Poof again. Just make sure this is getting blended up here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is put Trickery, this is a metallic green, all over the lid, and I'm going to use my finger. One thing I noticed in these swatches is that a lot of these shimmers do not work well with a brush. They just don't. I'm gonna go right in with the finger. The finger. <laughs> I'm actually using the finger too. I'm gonna put that on the middle portion of the lid to the outer. I'm leaving just a tiny section right in here because I'm going to use one of the other shimmer shades. I'm just gonna take my blending brush again. And then I'm going to use a precision flat brush because my fingernails are so long I can't get in that inner corner. And I'm going to use, I'm gonna use Power Cut. This did not swatch well, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, it is kind of chunky, like a few chunks just fell down, but I'm just applying that to the inner portion and then blending it into the green here. Okay, I'm going to dust away this translucent powder and work on the lower lash line. I'm going to take a flat brush like this and use the shade, hmm, what should I do? Let's smoke it out with some of the browns. So I have not yet gone into this shade here, which is called Mojo. And just tightly go here on the lower lash line. And then I stop right about there. Then I'm going to take, shh, and just blow that out, smoke it out. Like that. Then for the inner corner, there's really not a light bright shade for the inner corner. Maybe it, just to make it a little more interesting, this won't be as wearable. Maybe I'll take that power cut shade that I used right in here. It might look kind of weird because it's silvery, but. Then to finish off this eye look, what I'm going to do is just line my waterline with the MAC photo graver technical liner. It's just like a brown MAC retractable liner. Then I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm using the Lancome Monster Big. And then I would normally apply lashes, but since I'm gonna be doing another look on this eye, I don't wanna actually attach them. But what I will do is just lay them on here as if I was so that you could see what it would look like with a full lash on. And these are just Flutter Kitten something. I will link them down below, of course. But yeah, that is the finished eye look with this guy right here, the Dark Magic Palette. Okay, I'm gonna pop that lash off and let's move on to this eye now. So for the next eye look, I am going to use the Armed and Gorgeous palette. So this is like the yellow gold with a pop of green. I think I definitely wanna make this like an orangey, bronzy look. So the first thing I'm going to do is jump in with a blending brush into this shade right here, which is called Access. And again, I have already put concealer and loose setting powder over my lids so they are prepped and ready to go. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller blending brush and go into Secure. It's this orangey matte shade. I'm just going to go a little bit closer into the crease, like a little bit more defined. I'm a little underwhelmed by the pigmentation of both of these. They look so bright in the pan and they're kind of, I don't know. I feel like this orange is sticking in weird places. Okay, I'm going to deepen this up with this shade right here, which is called Smooth Criminal. And just deepen this up. Ugh. 
It's just looking a little patchy to me, but I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go into Agent. It's a different orange shade, which looks a lot like Secure. It's a little bit lighter. I kind of wish that it was a different shade. Um, I don't think you really need both of them. But let's see if this will help blend this all together. I don't know, like, do you see it? It just, there's like a dark patch. I'm not, not loving how that's blending. Next, I'm going to take Prowl. I'm just patting on, making sure I'm being gentle because these are very pigmented and just kind of powdery, so it's kind of hard to blend them. I'm gonna take that little blending brush again now that I've deposited some color and blend that out. Do you see that still? I feel like there's like a dark spot right there that's just not blending. I'm not noticing any fallout though, so that's nice. Okay, I'm going to take a shimmer shade and pop that on the lid. I think I'm gonna use Classified. When I swatched this with my finger, I was super impressed, so I wanna see how it looks on the lid. There we go, that's a little better. At first it seemed kind of like glittery and chunky. It's actually really pretty, it's super intense. I did get a little fallout from that. And then what I'm going to use next is this shade VIP. It's a very light, shimmery shade. I'm gonna take that right in here and in the inner corner as well as the brow bone. Oh, I love this shade. Again, this is called VIP. Okay, then to finish off the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into... Hmm, should I play with the green and just see how that goes? I think I will. So this is the shade Top Secret. And then I'm going to blend that out. I guess I'll try Access. Uh, I don't know, what could I blend that out with? I guess I'll try Access. I feel like those two colors together might look gross. Yeah, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really like that. Um, let's try Smooth Criminal. Yeah, that's definitely better. Yeah, that is way better with the green. I do like that. So I'm going to use the same MAC retractable liner to line my waterline. It's just a nice brown pencil. And then I'm again going to coat my lashes with the Lancome Monster Big Mascara. Okay, and then just so you can see how it would look with a lash, I'm gonna just pop on a pretend lash. So there is the armed and gorgeous look. We're only halfway through, but I still feel like I like the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, the original palette, better. It's a little bit easier to work with. I think it'd be better for beginners. These remind me a lot so far of Anastasia shadows, and those can be a little bit difficult to work with because they are so intensely pigmented that they can kind of poof everywhere. Like if you remember the whole subculture drama, um, could see how these shadows could have a little bit of that in them. Those are my initial thoughts so far. Let me wipe off these two looks and then we'll get into the next two palettes. Ring the Alarm and then Bling Boss. Okay, I removed those eye looks as best I could without ruining the rest of my makeup, so you can probably see I still have a little mascara and liner on, but we're just gonna go with it. So the next palette I'm going to dip into is the Ring the Alarm palette, and this is the beautiful warm palette that I'm guessing is the one that most people are interested in, just because I'm guessing if you're a fan of Jaclyn Hill, you're a fan of warm eye looks. So this is one that I was very excited about. So let's test this one out. So first what I'm going to do is take this shade Rush as my transition shade. I'm using my Real Techniques blending brush to do this and I have primed my eyes once again with Tarte Shape Tape and some loose setting powder. So far this is blending very nicely. Like really easily actually. I'm going to deepen that up just a little bit with this shade here which is called Mugshot. See how this lays over that. This is just a little bit more of a definer blending brush, kind of like a fluffy pencil brush. 
just putting that in the crease. I'm sorry if my actual looks like aren't super creative, like they're not cut creases or halo eyes or anything. I just kind of want to play around with my traditional style of how I apply my eyeshadow so that I can really see how these perform. So that is nice so far. I want to take this shade framed. It's like a deep fuchsia shade and put that in the crease because I think I want to go on the lid with some of these pink shades. So I want to make sure that the crease complements that. Okay, I'm going to take Framed, that same shade that I was just blending in there. I'm going to pack it onto a shader brush like this and put it in this outer corner just to deepen that up. And then go back into that blending brush to blend these edges here. Now that's doing something a little weird. I don't know if you can see that like patch of lightness. Let's see if I can fix that. Um, okay, I'm going to take the shade Bomb Ass and put that on my finger. It is a shimmer, but it's not like super shimmery. It's kind of more like a satin. I'm just gonna blend. The edges here. Oh, I love that! Okay, then I'm gonna take my little brush that I've been using for my inner corners. I wish there was a lighter shade, but let's go in with a lolly. Kind of like a duochrome. Let's put that right in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna use that bright pink bomb ass shade and put that on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take Rush and just make sure that that's all blended out. Try and take bomb ass. I hate saying that. I'm gonna take it on my finger. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I'm going to take again, you guessed it, my MAC liner, line the waterline, apply a little more mascara, and then I'm going to apply, for real this time, one of my lashes. Okay, and I did notice that you can kind of see some of the glue on the lash band, so I'm going to take an eyeliner brush and just go into the shade Secret. It's the deepest shade in the palette. It's like a warm chocolatey brown. I'm just gonna line this and try and conceal it. I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, I'm totally gonna cheat. I'm going to skip back to Dark Magic and take the black called Temptress. I didn't use that in my look, so I guess this is how I'll use it. Okay. That completes the Ring the Alarm palette. Now hopping into the last palette, and this is the Purple palette, which I definitely was super, super interested in. You can see this looks very beat up. This was the worst of all the four in terms of swatches, so I'm very interested to see how this goes. First, I'm going to take this shade here. It's called Hush Hush. This reminds me of a uh, eyeshadow that's in the Modern Renaissance palette. I can't remember the name of it. It might be like Love or something. It's a really, really nice lilac-y transition shade. I think it just looks really pretty with purple, cool toned look. So I'm just going to throw that in my crease. Okay, to deepen that up, let's see here. I'm definitely going to want to take this bright purple shade on the lid and lower lash. So to complement that, I think I'm going to go into Rockstar. I'm just going to be careful with this because this had a ton of fallout. not easy to blend. I'm going to 
take some of the Hush Hush again and try and blend that out because it's just... It's kind of doing the same thing the green palette was doing. I think it was the green palette. It's just kind of like... Not blending as nicely. Let's try something else. Um, let's try the shade Mystic. It's a super deep, kind of like plummy shade. Eh, this is still kind of patchy. Like, I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> and again, going back to I am not a professionally trained makeup artist, but I have been practicing makeup and learning makeup for probably five years now. Um, I am no Jaclyn Hill, but I also know when I can do better. And I would say this is not looking... I mean, it's getting there. Maybe I just need to blend more. The original Jaclyn Hill palette is just like so easy. You never have to work for shades to blend. Okay, I think I finally got that to a place where I'm happy with. So what I'm going to do is take my shader brush and I'm going to go into that Mystic shade, that shade I was just using. And you know it, pop it on the outer corner. Again, this is like my go-to method doesn't matter what the color scheme is it just matters what the tones are and the depths of shades but you can do this type of technique with any colors i'm going to try this rockstar shade again just see This shade is just making everything patchy. <laughs> I don't like that shade. I'm gonna go into Hush Hush and try and blend the edges here. Yep, already, I, I can tell instantly. It should just like blend it seamlessly and if it's not, it's a problem. Okay, now I'm going to take Gem on my finger. Ooh, wow, this is a really pretty purple. Okay, I'm gonna blend. And then for that inner corner portion, I'm going to take Ballsy. This one kind of got destroyed. It's very soft and kind of crumbly. Looks really nice and foiled on the lid. Yeah, okay, I'm going to take Bling Bling now. It's a little bit lighter. I'm going to take that on the inner corner. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same sort of thing where I take that bright shade and put it on the lower lash line. I'm also going to take Mystic, just the, literally the lightest touch. And then let's take Hush Hush. Okay, and there's the purple look. Line the waterline. Take my Lancome Monster Big Mascara. And then I'm going to take my other lash and apply that and then see if we need to kind of clean up that lash band. Okay. I'm going to go back into the black and I'm just going to line that lash band to conceal it. Okay, so here are the two completed looks with the Ring the Alarm palette on this side and the Bling Boss palette on this side. So my final thoughts are, I definitely think if one of these palettes is calling your name to buy it, I don't think you need the whole vault though, like especially if you have the full Jaclyn Hill palette because this has a lot of the neutrals and warm tones and even some of the pops of colors. But if you want to get one or two to supplement it, I think that that's probably the smartest way to go. And especially if you're a beginner because I will say, though these palettes turned out nicely and I definitely like the looks that I created, they were a little bit more difficult to work with. So if you are a beginner, I would probably say pick up one, see how you do, and then if you really want to try out some more, then go for it. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, you're only saving, I think, $10 if you buy the vault because the vault is like 50 and they're 15 each. So 15 times four is $60. So yeah, you're only saving $10, which I guess is like almost a free palette, but if you're not gonna like it, it's it's not worth it. So I think I would recommend 
buying one and you can buy them at Ulta too by the way like especially when they have their 20% off sales or their 350 off sales so I would go that route um, I'm not raving about this collection but I am definitely relieved that it's not as bad as I thought I'm guessing a lot of you guys did see my video about swatches and how like they can just be so wrong. If you haven't watched that video yet, definitely check it out. I think it's just good to see how crazy the differences between swatches and how things actually perform on the eyes. So yeah guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video with these four looks from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault Collection. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button. Also, if you're interested in being notified when I upload, you know I love my notification squad, you can just hit that notification bell and you will get a little pop-up notification that yours truly, uploaded a video, and you can come say hi. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!